That's what cover flip was. Yeah. It's a long explanation, Jack. <laughs> um, it's, that, not, it's not a quick one. That, I don't have a sound bite for it. I mean, it, it was a very... It meant nine-hour video, Jack. That's all right. That's all right. If, if anything, we'll make a separate, like, here's the extended cut. Of, yes, it's going to be a long flip. video. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want an accident to happen or a bad thing, but I would like to do live reporting. Um, are the, is the chair placement, does that look good yeah. with our... Heights. I don't even know, like... It's a lot of light. I know. So many... Li there's, like, lights behind us. This is all very for real. This is what real life looks like. You just... There's always... Doesn't it make you nervous? Doesn't it make you feel like anyone who doesn't do this all day and doesn't know what's going on, like, it makes you feel like everyone else knows this but you? Yeah. You that's, what what I mean? it, that's certainly what it felt like when we had to ask for help. You know, like, it just... It's just like, oh, you aren't making videos in a, like, high-tech facility? <laughs> what, are you poor? What, are you dumb? What, are you the worst? Are you literally the worst? Literally Why don't you go downstairs worst. and, like, just just be sad? Go to the shoe shine downstairs. Yeah, don't just cry. Why don't you go downstairs and cry? Okay, are we doing it? Well, we can be, yeah, All right, if you're it. ready. So I guess we'll, we can do a little bit more, like, facing each other than the camera. But we don't have to, yeah, we don't have to go like this. We don't have to stand off. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> you can just, like, sit. Do we sit have to fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was part of it. Did, you didn't oh, talk about the oh. sock and bakum robots? Oh. The live sock and bakum robots oh, happening so later. <laughs> That'd be fun, like inflatable kind of suits. I am very, I am very, very easy to beat up. Like, I would, I run from fights. I do not fight. I mean, I don't, I like, <laughs> just based on, like, your neurology, I would assume that you Oh, I was easy right to now. take down before that as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, easy bleeder. Easy I, bleeder. I yeah. actually really am. But I'm the, the, like, really weak, tiny person well, yeah, who always you said wants to start a fight. Hannah punched you and, you, and, you're, and then you run away. You don't want to damage her either. Like, imagine oh, if yeah. you accidentally just punched Hannah Hart in the face, and you're like, oh, sorry. That, you, like, ruined YouTube's Yeah, you ruined, treasure. like, you just accidentally punched her in the face. Like, that's sort of my, <laughs> I accidentally hit people all the time. I'm a little bit flaily. <laughs> just gotta keep my yeah. distance. Oscar's whole life is like, I'm like, when have I ever accidentally hit you? And he's like, oh, like, every, every day. day of my life. <laughs> Hi, welcome to QVC. We're, we're selling these wonderful lights today. If this show goes well, by the end of the show, we will be in the dark. It'll just all be dark. That's just good. I don't even have anything to add to that. <laughs> Let's actually begin. Now that we've shared our... our Do I just stare down the barrel of the, ca of the camera? No, no, no. Let, we Unbroken? Can... Yes, you could. You can do that. <laughs> I, I would say let's see how long you can do this, but like... Forever. You're Maureen Johnson. <laughs> you, you can stare at one thing. Yep. All right. <laughs> Should I be more relaxed? You know, I thought that was you being relaxed. No. Oh, boy. Um, I can relax. Yeah, do you want to relax? What should I What should I do to help you relax? I, I, is there something I can get for you? Oh my god! Would you like a settee, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's that looks. <laughs> <laughs> you do know, you, do we... you know how many LinkedIn requests I get like every, every day. day? Yeah, I, do you know the last time I logged into LinkedIn to like deal with those? You have a LinkedIn profile? I do actually. That's where the youngs are. I got to I got to network with the See, youngs. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really have a job. <laughs> why do you have a LinkedIn I don't. profile? Oh, but you get requests yeah. even though you don't have one. I don't know why. Like people are like so and so wants to connect you with LinkedIn. I'm like that's not going to happen. I feel like LinkedIn mm -hmm. is kind of like um, a Furby or like a uh, a fire alarm in your in your apartment mm -hmm. that just never you take the batteries out and it still keeps going. Yeah. That's and what LinkedIn I, is. I think a bunch of people also think I'm a doctor on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so there's a Rent character, a best-selling author, and a doctor all named Maureen Johnson. I don't even know if there is a doctor. It just thinks I'm a doctor. <laughs> it thinks I have a profile and it thinks I'm a doctor. That's the dangerous presumption to And make. you know what? If you keep sending me email that says I'm a doctor, eventually I'm going to think I'm a doctor. No. <laughs> Please stop sending one, her <laughs> one social media tip is if people mistake you for something online, you can do that job. So if anybody thinks you're a doctor, that's legal. It means you are now. You can open a practice. Mm -hmm. So time to start dispensing medication. Have fun in surgery. Every time I look at it, I hate it. So I, I, I don't use it. Is that Instagram for you? I like Instagram. Oh, I just, you have like six posts. On it Instagram. doesn't matter. It's just because I forget I have it. <laughs> it it's like because I forget I have it. I just And also you can only put up so many pictures of your dog before people... Or like, do you only take pictures of your, of your dog? And I'm like, basically. <laughs> I have 1,200 pictures of my dog on my phone. Wow. Yeah, I know, mean, it's like a sickness. You know, yeah. yeah. Well, what is, I mean, apart from LinkedIn, what mm -hmm. is that platform for you that you just doesn't resonate with you? Doesn't resonate. I hate Facebook. Yep, don't we all? Oof. 
Glad Facebook isn't funding this series. <laughs> Google Plus, though, love that one. That's my favorite. That is great stuff. Just the plus <laughs> part is the part I like best. Mm, it's yeah. just the extra. Yep, the little Not extra. Not just a little extra. It's a little extra bit of Google. It makes it, mm. <laughs> You're like, normal Google. Eh, yeah. eh Google Plus. Hey! Yeah, and you get Google Plus for free, but Hulu Plus, $8 hey, a month. $8 Come a on. month. Who has $8? A month. A month. Especially. That's like $700 a year. Fast math. Yep. I, I really liked your answer that you should use... I only do what's fun. Yeah, only well, do what's fun because that... I only do what feels right. Like, because well, I work in publishing and mm -hmm. especially early on with social media, a lot of publishers at first were like, you have to do this. And then you, you, it's, you're doing it wrong. You have to tell people to buy your books. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. And they're like, you have to do it or you're doing it wrong. Do how we tell you to do it. I'm like, I'm just like, I just didn't. Yeah. I just didn't do it. <laughs> and it turns out that's fine. Like... I think nobody wants to hear that. I'm not a robot. Oh, really? No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not a robot. Of course. Why would Why would you think that? Jeez. I'm Stop a doctor. with the assumptions. Yeah, of course. Maureen Johnson. Doctor. MD. I would just be sounds such scary. a good doctor. <laughs> I I'd be such even. A, my mother's a nurse, and sometimes I ask if I can just wear her stethoscope around my neck. Mm. And sometimes I put headphones around my neck and try to pretend they're a stethoscope. I like the scrubs. When I was in oh, high school, I really yeah. wanted just scrubs. like some scrubs, scrubs pants as good. pajama pants. Mm -hmm. You know? You can get that. You can live that dream. I, I actually That is really easy to NYU live that dream. NYU Bookstore has like the NYU yeah. scrubs. Oh, yeah. And I was no. like, mm -hmm. if you want to live that dream, you should live that dream. Mm. Scrubs are nice and they're real lightweight. Mm, they feel good. Yeah. Clothes are dumb, largely. Like, you know, let's just wear scrubs and no shoes. <laughs> I'm into it. We'd all be so comfortable. Ma all the you know, time. maybe if you really need some foot protection, some Crocs. Oh boy, <laughs> that is a, that is an extreme position, Jack. <laughs> I've a... never worn a pair of Crocs in my life. You're like, but you know what? I'm just gonna go for Crocs. You know, if you, I, I hear they're very comfortable. I just like, and if that's the what are priority, you, are you here. chef. What? Chefs always wear it. Oh, yeah? yeah I don't know. I saw like the... Deadpool last night and he was wearing Crocs. Was he wearing Crocs? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a real out of the blue. You're like, you know what? Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> the official shoe of the HBA. Oh no! Crocs. <laughs> I really hope the they're HBA, ethically they wear, sourced. They wear Crocs. <laughs> they're made, made of actual crocodiles. I don't know that. It, <laughs> I don't know that anyone on staff of the HBA actually owns a pair of Crocs. I'll have to double check. Well, I guess we're going to investigate reports. Yeah. Do members of the HBA wear Crocs? Let's do a uh, poll on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out. Twitter polls is a great way to optimize your audience on social media. Mm-hmm. But a blog post is basically up, and you yeah. know it's less, less sort of in. I don't know what this is. That's uh, I've that's started doing this. Like I, your feed, maybe. It's it was supposed to <laughs> be a feed, but now I it's become. I honestly can't stop doing this. That's actually you know in the Princess great. Diaries, that's like the princess wave. Yeah, it's thank you for being it's here becoming today. Becoming more and more elegant. Yeah, and strange. It's like my right arm took on a life of its own. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, you're pretty close to doing this, actually. I, I can't do that. Yeah, you can't. Well, no, I don't really have the. Your your right hand has a. I don't have its own. So. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> I don't know where this came from. My right arm is kind of. It's not. It's not normal. Mm. Are you right-handed? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's concerning. Yeah. Mm. It just does. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, apart from changing your style, like, you do have lots of different types of, hello, hand. <laughs> uh, much mm -hmm. like your hand is making lots of different gestures right mm -hmm. now. And there is also this weird thing of what do we have to talk about? Do we have to address every single thing that happens? Like, if someone mm. passes away, do you have to say something about it? I don't think you do. Like, we no. don't, it's not like we have to comment on every single thing that happens. I think you get to, you know, choose you know, maybe maybe you need a lighthearted day, and like you don't you don't have to do that. Like yeah. You just, but I like to be mindful of a you know, if something like that happens, I have strong feelings about it, and so you know I respond to it. Mm -hmm. Do you ever how how intentionally do you ever think? You said like sometimes you you switch back and forth very mm -hmm. quickly. Are there times when you're like, oh, maybe this is like you know too soon to switch into talking about my dog or whatever? Uh, I try to just feel that out. Mm -hmm. You know, if everybody is still very upset about something uh, you know i try to feel like what the mo you know but the thing is that it's also a very large conversation that's going on it's very rare that people are only talking about one single thing and the world is big 
also like the world is big and not everybody in the world is going to be talking about the same thing at the same time. And that's one of the amazing things about the internet is that it is a worldwide conversation. Mm -hmm. Like you may seem to be only be talking to a very small group of people, but they're, they are located all over the world. And like what happens say here, we're located in America is not what's happening. You know, there is a giant world out there and not, and what we're doing isn't what everybody is doing. So, so yeah. So sometimes you can be addressing many more people mm -hmm. than, than just, you know, people at one location yeah all talking about one specific thing you may think it's only one thing going on in the world but it's not yeah yeah it's absolutely a global did that make sense as an no, answer it, it did it actually did great yes yes you can report back to your robot overlords that you're doing well will you ever quit twitter a la cole sprouse and claim it was all just a social experiment i'm not going to rule it out what if twitter just closes itself down one day and says it was all a social experiment because covers are just packages they're just it's they're not evil they're not you know, it's they're, they're not the be all end all, but like sometimes a lot of money is so some covers have a lot more money spent on them. And the, sometimes the more simple they look, the more money has been spent on them because they've mm. hired a really fancy artist. Um, sometimes they kind of, you know, they, they just you ever notice how some covers just kind of look like other covers? Yeah. Like there'll be a thing where it's like, oh, it's this season of this cover. Yeah. It's this season of this cover. Like that's a thing. They're, they're, tr they're trying to say, oh, you liked this book. That book sold well. Well, Put somebody in a, oh, people like books with uh, trains on fires on the cover. So, you know, let's do the trains on fire cover. You know, so there's a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Things that happen in, in trends. But you can sit in a more relaxing position. No, like I mean, it. I want to relax. You're, it's supposed to be good to relax. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to try it. What was it? Uh, what do was you ever, question? yeah, do you feel any restrictions um, within like, you know, using social media as a platform to get your message out? What's my message? Oh, what is your message? I, it could be anything. If it's um, what's my message? What's my message? It could Jack? be it could be prom promoting your books. It could be promoting charities or causes that you feel strongly about. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to. I mean, it depends on the thing. Like, I write books, and I I often want to say, people, would you like to read my book? And then I kind of don't want to do that because I'm like, you can read it if you want. I don't know, whatever. You don't have to. Do you want to? I don't want to make you. Like, you don't have to. I can't make you. <laughs> right. Maybe you shouldn't. I don't know. Like, that's sort of my stance on that a lot mm -hmm. of times. But then every once in a while, I'm like, hey, look, a thing happened. Yay. I, I sometimes <laughs> feel a little bit awkward about posting stuff about. I know there are a lot of people that are just totally fine. And it is, I think, great that they're like, here's this great thing that happened. Here's another thing about my book. Here's another snippet. Here's another quote. That Some people, that's their approach. And, like, that's lovely. I think it's great that everybody has their own way of doing it. Sometimes I feel comfortable doing that, and sometimes I'm like, meh. Yeah. Meh, meh. Yeah. I'm more chatty, generally, but, like, I don't want to, you know, sometimes people say, we want to know more about your books, and I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Self-promotion like, makes, makes you feel weird. Yeah. It makes me, makes me feel weird. Yeah, totally. Um, I just want to double check By that. the way, you should read my books. Yeah, you should totally read Maureen's books. Well, you don't have to, though. No, no, no. You like, have you, to. You, don't, you, you absolutely have you to. You don't have to. It's required if you're you a human being to read Maureen Johnson's books. Look, it's only if you want. <laughs> Honestly. There are a lot of books out there. This is the trouble. This is why I don't work in marketing. Oof. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of reasons I don't work in marketing. There's a <laughs> lot of reasons I don't work in marketing, but this is one of them. I'm like, honestly, you know, there's really a lot of good books. Yeah. But if you want to. You know, be nice. <laughs> um, I don't want to make this about me. Uh, yeah, this is of about not. the HPA and the ALA working together with this very fancy professional microphone. <laughs> Do you know what the weirdest thing is I've ever done on social media? What's that? So if you ever, here's, okay, so this is actually something I did. I don't know if this is an appropriate use of social media, but I am okay with it. So I have a dog. I love my dog. I talk about my dog all the time. The way we got our dog was we were at a... We were out. It was like a summer's day, and they had a, a rescue fair. And it was just some dog. And I was like, dogs! And I went <laughs> over, and there was, you know, they had all these cages, and they had puppies in them. And in one cage, there was a puppy. And then sitting, the, that puppy was sitting on another puppy. And the puppy underneath that puppy's butt was this little tiny golden, like, and I looked at her, and I went, that's, that's our dog. That's our dog. Was That's, that puppy Zelda? That was Zelda. Aww. And we got her, you know, they let her, let us hold her. And as soon as I held her, I was like, this is our dog. This is our dog. So I said, don't put her down. 
There's a lot of people here. Don't let anyone see her. Go hide in the bird food aisle. And so, like, we hit her. Like, we kept moving her around the Petco. Like, we wouldn't let anyone else see her. Like, because I knew if they saw her, everyone... I But I just knew this was our dog. Like, I was so... It was in my heart. I was like, this is our dog. And I have to do everything in my power to get this dog. So I wouldn't let anybody else get near her. Because people were like, that dog's cute. And I was like, go! Hide by the cat litter! So then I went online. Cause, and I got the, you know, the on Twitter. And I was like, Twitter... I've filled out an adoption application for this dog, but you gotta help me, <laughs> please. Tweet to this, tweet to this like rescue organization because everybody wants this dog, but she's my dog and I'm in love with her. Please, <laughs> like this is my do- like I can't even tell you what I was like possessed, and I just begged people, <laughs> and then I got a call two days later from the rescue organization that was like, we got like two hundred emails. <laughs> Um, so we're going to come and do a house visit because they do a house visit to check. And I am like, I had cleaned the house. I'd already purchased like some toys and stuff and a bag of food. I'd built like a puppy playpen. Wow. Like I'd built all this stuff and they came and they're like, we've never seen anybody as prepared as this. And I was like, <laughs> good. I am the most ready for this puppy. <laughs> and they said, yeah, we, we never had a response like that. Like people just kept tweeting us like, all day so um yeah we had a lot of applications for that dog but um we're gonna call you later and then they called us that night at 11 o'clock and they said you can go pick her up at 11 o'clock at night we got in a cab and like got her wow and i've never regretted doing that so if you need to use twitter to get yourself your dog like she is my heart so like i don't regret that and that's something i use twitter for that's that's really i I mean my next question was going to be like how can you use social media to expand Get a your dog. Cause? Yeah. You that was actually, to get a dog. that was the next question. Yeah, I How did that. How do you use social media? To yeah, get a, and that was dog, the best so thing that's... I ever, that was the best thing I, I ever did. You can do it for other things, like obviously fundraising, things you care about. Yeah. Forwarding articles, um, sharing conversation. Forwarding chain emails. Definitely yeah, yeah. forwarding I mean, weird chain emails. Mm-hmm. Um, for sure. People love those. Yeah. Um, just weird, cranky, like... Things with no facts in them, mm-hmm. weird infographics that people all really like. Um, may mays. Oh, yeah. people love a may may, mm-hmm. especially one with like I hear a cat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. People love those. Yep. Yeah. Are they gonna catch on? I think so. I yeah. think, I think we're gonna see more cats thing. on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's a little weird, but, but I think we are. I think there might be something. So I know we like, interrupted you, but if you wanna, it's so spongy. Yep. Yeah. So spongy. But have you seen any like actual changes off of the back of it that you've noticed? I think the most important change is that people who participated or read about it at least come to covers with a little more knowledge mm. and don't make assumptions. Don't make assumptions about what's in the book because of its cover, because of its placement. Yeah. Because realize that how things get put in bookstores you know, like we have some weird, there's some weird categorization, like weird places where things turn up yeah. and how things are clumped together. Bookstores all has to do with sales, all has to do with like, sort of like sometimes paid promotion, like what's in the front, what's in the back, what's on the side, what's on the, what's called an end cap, you know. Some of that is like paid advertising. Some of it is, you know, they're just trying to figure out how to sell books. And I write these books that are, are for teenagers, but anybody can read them. And then there are some, say, um, uh, men in their 40s write to me and say, you know, I actually wanted to read your books, but I felt weird about it because I didn't feel like I could, like those were accessible to me. Yeah, I mean, not even that they might like see the cover and think, oh, that's not for me. But also there's there's also like, you know, a grown man carrying a book with like a young woman Mm -hmm. on the cover, like on the subway that he might look a little. Yeah. And they don't want to they don't want to make anybody in the store uncomfortable by like hang out in that set, you know, like, yeah, which yeah, I think yeah. is a very sensitive thing to do, which is why I think I love ebooks. Like, I think yes. that it, it eliminates a lot of the the social pressure of like, what are you reading? What does it look like? What are you allowed to read? You're allowed to read whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, don't like I know we've I've heard so many stories from so many booksellers, teachers, librarians who say, you know, for it's often with boys and say, oh, the boy is reaching for some book. And they go, that's for girls. No. You can't, you know, that's not for you. No. You know, and that happens, that happens a lot. 
I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but like, oh. I mean, there's a librarian behind the camera, and she just made a terrible scrunchy face. Like, and she's <laughs> nodding. And she's like, yeah, you know, it's they all have stories like it that mm. they've all heard a parent or somebody, or even like sometimes, the teacher or the librarian has said, you know, that's you know, not for you, mm. or for girls, because girls, you know, girls are supposed to be able to read, do anything. That's why we're supposed to always relate to male protagonists, like, right. you know. So all I'm saying is. Consider that it's just marketing. Consider what, what assumptions we're making about gender in general in life. That's all. And, and packaging and, you know, who, what's being sold to who and what we think is appropriate. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, read what you want. Read what you want. <laughs> yeah, read those books yeah, of lies. Read what, yeah, read our lies. Read our <laughs> weird written down lies. No, but read what you want. Like, that's, the, I think, the message is generally, like, don't let anybody tell you that it's not for you. It's for you. If you want to read it, it's for you. Yep. (laughs) That's it. It's genuinely that simple. If you want to read it, don't let any social pressure get to you. Read it on an e-reader if you have one. You know, just take the – if the cover's paper, take it off. Put a different cover on it. Like, do whatever. Yeah. But it's for you. That's the message. Totally. Boom. Mic drop. Don't drop the mic. I know. it. You I'm know. not going to break it. <laughs> um, That's my mic drop. Yo. Could I frame that? Like, what sort of question? Um, Just say libraries. Libraries. How do you Li- feel about them? I think that libraries, first of libraries go to your library. <laughs> I idiot. blame you for this. What? <laughs> I, I guess this is all my fault. Yeah. But, um, it's all Jack's fault. Thoughts? Anything you want to end on? It's very spongy. You yep. need final thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Stay in school. Stay in Always school. Good. Thank you for being with us today, well, Maureen. Well, th- thank you, Jack. Do I and still have that fuzzy thing? No, you're, you're I good. I had some fuzzy, fuzzy we, wumpkins on my nose. We got it. We got it sorted out. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. And don't forget to review us on Yelp today. Well, I... <laughs> and don't forget to check us out on TripAdvisor. Yes, and LinkedIn. And LinkedIn. My, and li- um, My LinkedIn URL is linkedin.com slash 1Q472-3. And my LinkedIn URL is butts are us. <laughs> butts are funny 100% of the time. I'd say that's the best social media tip we've given today. Honestly, there's nothing not funny about butts. Mm-hmm. So I would say just tweet about butts a lot, and I would laugh every time. There we go. I have my act. I have an actual job, Jack. I am an actual <laughs> author. I just want you to realize that I am an adult with a job. <laughs> That's because earlier you said you kind of don't have a job. I kind of don't like, but I do. But but you're, I mean, you're also so a doctor. Funny. <laughs> well, I'm an internet doctor, which is the, basically the same thing. Oh, here's the thing: don't take medical advice off the internet. <laughs> never Ooh. Google an illness. Yes. Yeah. No, never Google an illness. Like just. Don't Google your illnesses. That's a thing you shouldn't do. <laughs> don't don't do that. Don't um, don't destroy the internet through fire or electromagnetic waves. Yep, that's a good thing. Yeah, don't turn the internet button off. Don't turn it off. Don't do that. Uh, definitely don't do that. Um, uh, uh, there's a couple basic. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's the basic. Never thing look to know. directly at the internet. Oh, yes. Never look yes. directly at the internet. Don't. Mm-mm. That's what happened to me. Yeah, don't touch it either. Don't touch the internet. Yeah. Don't touch the internet. Don't get close to the internet. Yeah, like don't don't Stay. act like you're all buddy buddy. And you're like, not. Yeah, don't get all clingy. Don't yeah. Any texts. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, don't be like, hey, you know, you didn't call. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that to the internet. Oh, we'll just dude, that times. is not. Yeah, don't get weird on like the first time, Mm-mm. but you know that you're you know you're you're on the internet. You're like, hey, what's up? So you know, like, can I just watch you eat? Like that. Don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting yeah. too weird, Jack. You yeah, gotta, we got to cut this off. <laughs> is that good? Butts. <laughs>